It should have been a coronation for U.S. golfer Lexi Thompson. Ahead in the final round Sunday, she got some bad news. Is this a joke? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not at all. Up four strokes with six holes to play, she lost her lead in an instant. It just came to us, and we need to inform you. Four strokes on I heard. A rules official broke the news that a TV viewer spotted her misplacing her ball on a shot the previous day, a teeny centimeter or so from where she marked it. Two strokes for that, plus two more for signing an incorrect scorecard. Cost the 22-year-old a major championship. You know, it's unfortunate what happened. I did not mean that at all. I didn't realize I did that. Golfers of all abilities have been bemoaning the injustice ever since. We told you got a four-stroke penalty the day before because somebody phoned in. That's nonsense. Cosby to Latang, he shoots, he scores! Imagine a Stanley Cup final where a disputed play would be changed the next game and affect the result. Only golf permits such bizarreness. There's no other sport where people can call or email in or, or contact officials um, regarding an issue. Pro golf has been plagued by weird rulings, such as at last year's U.S. Open when Dustin Johnson was penalized when his ball moved on its own a microscopic distance on the green. Or in 2013 when a retired rules official at home phoned in to report Tiger Woods making an improper drop. I think they just got to stop. Uh, accepting call-ins and write-ins from viewers. Um, if the player herself and her competitors and the caddies and the rules officials, if they can't figure out that something happened that was against the rules of golf, then probably nothing happened that actually affected the outcome of the tournament. So just let it go at that. On Sunday, after a playoff, even a victorious So Young Ryu said she felt awful for Lexi Thompson. Pro Golf is planning a rules upgrade for 2019 and today a lot of people are saying avoiding this kind of outcome has got to be one of the fixes. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.